Number eight, how does the gearbox housing amplify noise? Vibration is generated at the gear mesh because of time-bearing mesh stiffness, manufacturing errors, and assembling errors. This side vibration is transmitted to the housing through shafts and bearings. The radiated noise is induced from the vibration of the housing. Number seven, why does my gearbox rattle? Gearbox rattle is a sound that is excited by the driving source, such as the electric motor. Number six, what causes gearbox noise? Gearbox noise isn't just a gear problem, it's a system problem. Physical interactions between gears can excite system dynamics, so most gear noise doesn't originate from the gears. Number five, how do bearings cause gearbox noise? The asymmetric gear noise spectrum arises from amplitude and frequency modulation of gear mesh excitation produced by low frequency manufacturing and assembly errors. Gearbox and electric motor sounds from gear mesh, bearing rotation, lubricant movement, motor vibrations, and interaction of the housing all contribute to the overall sound generated. Number four, can you prevent gearbox noise? It's impossible to eliminate all gearbox noise because it's impossible to cut perfect gears. Even if one could, it's impossible to limit the effect of system dynamics. One can only minimize and control gearbox noise to the extent that it won't be considered problematic or audible. Number three, how do you reduce gearbox and electric motor noise? To solve gearbox and electric motor noise problems, the first step is to determine the type of noise that is objectionable. What's considered gear noise depends on the speed of rotation. Use qualitative and quantitative terms to describe how design factors and manufacturing mistakes play into the noise equation. Then discuss with the design team and potential suppliers the problems of gear noise, dynamics, measurement, and modeling. Number two, what is gearbox noise? Gear noise is generated by tooth-to-tooth -tooth load transfer that causes pressure pulse trains radiating through the gear set and motor housing. The noise's frequency is the product of gear rotational speed and the number of gear teeth. Most types of gear noise occur at tooth mesh frequency or harmonics in the audible range. Gearbox noise can be very annoying, even when it isn't the most significant noise source. That's because it occurs as pure tones that the human ear can detect even at 10 dB lower than the overall noise level. And the number one top 10 gearbox and electric motor noise question is, how do you diagnose a noisy gearbox and electric motor? To minimize noise, all gearbox and electric motor components should be optimally tuned to each other. Three types of gear tooth transmission errors are spacing errors, random errors, and elastic deformations, which combine with mean profile deviations. Gear resonance can be reduced by identifying excitation mechanisms using finite element analysis to determine the natural frequencies of individual gears, eliminating torsional modes from operating range, detuning and damping helical and bevel gears, and identifying remaining resonance problems with other elements of the gear motor such as the housing and electric motor. Thank you for watching our video. You can contact us at 394 Wards Corner Road, Suite 110, Loveland, Ohio, 45140. Give us a call at 513-576-1300 or email Gabriel Venzen, President of ABM Drives, ABM Griffenberger U.S. Subsidiary at gabriel.venzen, you spell that V-E-N-Z-I-N at 
abm-drives.com. Thank you for your kind attention.